We live in a material world. We use lots of materials every day. Every part of our lives depends on stuff, materials, what scientists call matter. It's been that way since the beginning of human history. Just like our ancestors, we need the stuff of daily life. But the way we do things has changed a lot. In earlier times, builders made big things using big pieces of material. Today, scientists and engineers in the area of materials research start very, very small, with atoms and molecules. But the possibilities are huge. If you could build anything using atoms and molecules, what would you build? You might think of something useful. In fact, many material scientists do just that by studying things people can use. Supposing you wanted to make a bottle to put water in, what kind of bottle should it be? Lightweight? Unbreakable? Transparent? Waterproof? These qualities are called properties. If you filled the bottle and tested it to see how well it worked, you would be looking at performance. So, your bottle has properties and they perform in a certain way. But why? Think small, really small. It has to do with the way the atoms and molecules inside the bottle are put together. This is structure. But did the atoms and molecules inside the bottle mix themselves together into the perfect form to make the perfect water bottle? Most likely not. They may have been heated and then cooled to come out just right. This is processing. Properties, performance, structure, and processing frame a doorway into the strange microscopic world of materials. A world of tremendous possibilities. You're making things happen that never happened before, and you're making things possible that were never possible before. Material science is everywhere. I mean, there's, there's no doubt about it. I mean, if you, if you think you're not impacted by material science as an everyday person, you're just flat out wrong. Well, by manipulating materials and their structures inside, we can get special properties, and it tends to be a very important field. So every part of what we do is connected to materials and material science is how we understand these materials. It provides explanations for why things behave the way they do. It's why the world works today is because of improvements in materials and discovery of new materials. If we didn't have material science there would be a lot of problems that would go unsolved. Um, if you didn't have someone to look into the details. Of. It's the way that we're going to solve a lot of the major issues and problems in the future. You know, as materials have uh, been introduced into different societies, they've really revolutionized the way those societies have functioned. You improve the process, you make the features smaller, you make the features more precise, you use more advanced materials that perform better, and suddenly you've got a computer that can do a million calculations in a second instead of a hundred thousand. So where material science is going is to the extremes. 